The rocky tidal flats of Helgoland are home to hermit crabs, sea and... <coughs> so, we've got a baby kitten, and you're going to draw the tail? Yeah. yeah, go on. I like to draw a tail sometimes. Whoa. That's amazing. Good job. Safe, bro. Can you another one? Yeah. Here we are out with Nanny and Grunkle. Um, but I appear to be patched with these gremlins. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Ringer. Mm. But, yeah. a YouTube night the other night on Wednesday, two nights ago, and he gave us a wee bag of stuff and um, Shaban was there too, she's opened hers, but the candle smells absolutely delicious, and I don't know why, but candles for me, you just can't go wrong, like, a good candle is the key to my heart, so... Thank you, YouTube. We are finished our dinner. We had a lovely chat and it's time for bed. And who is the most annoying person in the team? Who's the best person you've kissed? Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Who can't you stand most in the team? Honest answers only. Who does your head in on the pitch? <laughs> no, 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 no you have comment. to answer. No comment, sorry. Who does no, your head no, in no, on no, the pitch? Kenza Who does your head in most on the pitch? I don't understand the question. You're a liar. <laughs> I don't understand oh. English. Liar. Oh. Oh. The stage is set. Now we just need the team to turn up. Carl. So we are going to Luton and Dunstable um, because I'm an absolute cabbage and <laughs> got on in the whatever minute and was literally on the pitch for two minutes. But I had to, you know, do a wee rugby tackle on my daddy and someone else. And that resulted on me falling on her studs, I'm assuming. And I've gashed my knee open. So for all you worried people, it's not serious. I've not done my knee or anything. I've just gashed open like an absolute knob jockey. Um, could be worse. You could have gashed your gash. That's also true. Um, but we're yeah, going to look on because Anna Patton, those people, father, is connected. He's pulling strings. So hoping to get seen a bit quicker. But look, this is life. I've not lost a leg. So it could always be worse. We'll I'd, also, go again. I'd also just like to point out that I have been up since three o'clock this morning. And I'm the driver in all of this. But I've got to think of the content. You'll get content. Right, I'll get yeah. content. You'll get content. <laughs> okay, so I have the goods. 
have arrived. Precious cargo. Precious cargo incoming. Luton, minor injuries. Oh, boom. Hiya. Hello. You all right? How are you I'm probably going to faint. <laughs> I'm not, I, I'm sound with everything, but sometimes I get a bit squeamish now. Like when it's on TV, it's like all guts and the, I'm not really good at that, so I don't know what's under here right now. Might wait. It was like a big gash of like, I, ha I couldn't see blood or anything, but it was just like skin fold. Did you see, the, was there a lot of bleeding? No, not, not at that point, no. no. So. That's a good sign. This is not soaked up in blood, so it's not bleeding. Okay. Otherwise, it should not be soaked up in blood. Okay. I'm just being dramatic. Did Rachel Daly hold your hands and tell you? What did she say? She said, you should get another job then. <laughs> she said, don't look, it's disgusting. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's Sunday night, we are in the hospital, minor injuries unit, with this one, whose luck might be the worst luck in the entire world. This is a formal warning, this will make you feel sick. Graphic content ahead. I repeat, graphic content ahead. Oh no, I see, oh, I see blood. How did that actually happen? I don't know. I just keep talking. Just actually, keep talking. I rugby tackled her. And as we went down, we fell. So I don't know if she, her studs came, her legs came behind her, and then I've landed on it. I don't know. Was it the stud, studs I, that I think, did that? It's the only thing I think it could have been. We have a fainter. We have a fainter <laughs> up in here. <laughs> I feel terrible. Well, it is pretty bad. Um, one thing we should say is that I'm just trying to keep you occupied, but mm -hmm. Patsy's dad is a surgeon and he sorted you out. And apparently when it happened, the information was fed back that they were going to have to rush you to the theatre to get you stitched up, but it's not as bad as it looks. But I think we should get everybody's studs checked who was on the pitch. This is a warning. I'm burning up. Like, I'm just being so, I feel like I'm at the stage of a hangover where you're about to get sick. That's the only thing I can describe it as right now. I feel a tiny bit better from lying down. Okay, stay there. I feel like I'm not going to be very good for these stitches. Okay, just relax. They're going to give you a pain cancer. Uh, yeah, I think, I think if we have, if we have access to, sorry, let's sorry. Say, because what we, if we, if we infiltrate, infiltrate, maybe. How are you feeling? I feel a bit better, I'm not going to lie. I thought I was going to get sick. <laughs> I had to lie down. <laughs> I think I'm going to get sick as well. I mean, it can't be studs. It cannot be studs. So, the surgeons have been in. <laughs> and she's losing the leg. Um, it's pretty bogging. She nearly passed out. But we move, said the girls. I'm gonna show you something pretty minging. Take this as your warning, your formal warning that this might make you feel very, very sick. And viewers may find this content disturbing. It's yucky. It's very, very yucky. Now that I've seen it, I'm okay, it could be worse. But I just feel a bit... Shaky. Yucky. Maybe you guys might be sweet trembling. Shaking away. The jellyfish, the jellyfish. Aye, so here we are at Luton and Dunst the Ball. Again, big up the patterns. Um, not going to lie, I had a wee moment there where I had to lie down because I thought I was going to get sick or faint. Um, I'm not proud that that happened because it makes me look like an absolute wimp weasel but it's not that bad now that i've seen it it's just a bit of gash bit rotten looking um but then the damn quite soft people just don't know that screen if you want to go faster
You okay? Fantabulous. So the update is... Are you okay? I nearly passed out. <laughs> this new doctor came in and they made her get in her gown and then <laughs> he took the bandage off and then he, he pulled it up and it opened up and basically mm. started talking. And I thought, I'm going to puke. And then I got a white ear and I had to sit down. But um, they're going to knock her out and put her to sleep and get everything stitched up. This doctor said it's actually a little bit deeper than we thought. So we'll see you at the other side. Yeah, and I said I was too scared to feel anything. So they're like, we'll just knock you out. So I was actually a big one. And here we are. How you feeling? Got nothing else to be doing with Penda. <laughs> Which um, unit she's going to, right? It shouldn't be funny, but it is funny. How'd it go? They said it was touching God. There was some near-death experiences. <laughs> but you've kept the leg? Kept the leg. Two weeks, Cass. Two weeks, she'll be in and out. That's great. Oh, that's fantastic, isn't it? You're out your bush. It's the morning after the night before and here I am, I went in to get my knee stitched up and cleaned and I've come out blind as a bat because they had to take my contact lenses. I can't see shit to be honest, it's not great but this is life. Stat one. My kiss. You gonna kiss a pepper? Good. Oh, oh thank you. you. Could you kiss a bird too? Are you coming in like that? In your bed? Okay. <laughs> you nice and clean. Black and red. Um, honestly, I don't think it's my bed. Yeah. yeah. Careful, careful, Reba. Gentle, gentle. Can you give it a kiss? Let me see it. Guys, guys, Reba. Come on. Bed time. Can't touch it. So here we are, it is Tuesday afternoon and I am just sitting on the couch like a big fat sloth. Um, not ideal, not ideal, but hopefully it's short term. It's um, a couple of weeks to heal, the scar can heal. I've just to kind of sit and keep my legs straight for the next little while, for the next few days anyway. So it's going to be boring. Um, not going to lie, feel a tiny bit sorry for myself today because I'm quite sore. Um, but I've just got some tablets into me there, so it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun, um, but at least I can just watch shows and that'll be that, I guess. Eat some chocolate, maybe. Get myself some popcorn or, yeah, we'll see. But yeah, typical, typical for me. But this is life. Sometimes life just throws these little challenges at you and you've just got to overcome them. And at the end of the day, it could be a lot worse. There's people out there that have got a lot of stuff going on. Bad stuff, tough stuff going on in their life. So I'm actually very lucky at the end of the day. So that is all. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this latest YouTube and it's not too gruesome because um, the knee picture is kind of disgusting. It actually it makes me feel a bit faint still because um, I'm a bit of a wimp. But all you YouTubers, I hope you are well. And up the villa, we have, who have we got at the weekend? We've got Man City in the cup, so that'll be fun it'll be a good game hopefully i can get along and watch it um but yes utv